Skål. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is feeling awesome today. Uh, today I'm continuing with the Valby Brewery beers and um, today I have one called Sprød Malt which translates into something like crispy malt. Um, very excited about this. Um, the bottle is the same as the others. Very, very nice bottle. The label is same style as the others also, but this one is a little bit, um, this one is a little bit cool, I, th I think, with the uh, drawings on there. I like that, I don't really know why. Um, it is 5.2% alcohol, um, and I bought seven beers for 200 Danish crowns, so as kind of an offer so I don't really know what it's what it costs but I'm guessing it's gonna be around 30 or 35 Danish crowns which is about three pounds and maybe four euro dollars give or take a little bit by the way I don't know if these uh, guys uh, ship out of Denmark I don't know at all so yeah maybe there maybe there's no point in me saying what it costs in, in euros dollars and pounds but I just do that because then you guys have kind of a it's easier for you guys to know what what it costs really um, as I said it's 5.2 percent alcohol this one isn't filtered as the others and what's in this is water roasted malts hops and yeast um, it's an English ale crafted classic that's what they call it in the back here um, and they say it could be a good alternative to a Pilsner, to a lager, to a classic beer. Um, yeah. But let's jump into the most important thing, the nosing and the tasting, of course. There's no sponsored content in this video, and as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. I have my Egg Bagger uh, beer mug here. Mm. They say it isn't filtered. This one looks kind of looks filtered, but of course, if they say it isn't, then it isn't. Of course, uh, but it's it's quite beautiful. Dark copper, dark golden. Uh, yeah, maybe even amber color uh, with a quite a heavy light brown beige foam mm. it's a beautiful beer don't you think first off there's some heaviness from the malt there's a little bit of sweet malt and then there's some a uh, little bit of bitter fresh hops That's pretty much it. There's not a lot of uh, aromas here in the nose, but it's good. Mm. So the palate is quite heavy um, in, 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 you know, consistency or in the um, feel to it. It's very uh, light on the flavors, only just with, 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 with some malt and a little bit of hops. The finish is... Um, is first a little bit of malt and then it moves into some fresh a little bit of bitter hops 
but also a little bit of fruit just a little hint of a fruity feel from that hops the dominant part here is of course malt but the hops is there as well and I understand what they mean when they say it could be like an alternative to a lager or a pilsner because it's a lot like that type of beer but just with slight slight differences so it's very easy to drink because it's not there's not a lot of power um, so to kind of put it into perspective and compared with a lager or a pilsen that they turned up malt a little bit to make it heavier but also make it more round and a little bit more sweet then they turned down the hops to kind of to i don't know if they if that's the reason they did it but that's what I, it feels like it's happening the hops bitterness is a little bit toned down so it becomes more Mm, flat is not the the right word because that sounds negative it's not meant negative it comes more it becomes more lenient if you if you know what i mean like this where if you didn't drink other beers there's first a lot of heavy hops and then or a lot of heavy molds and then there's a lot of bitter hops so and this one is more like this like even yeah it tastes good there's for me not enough taste but the taste that's there are good um i'm thinking where to rate this where to put this um doesn't taste bad doesn't taste bad actually it tastes really good um, as I said, it's just, for me, toned down too much. Mm. I think, I, I was actually expecting, because for me, malt, that's what I like the most um, in beers. That's heavy malted beers. Um, so when this one was called crispy malt, I was actually expecting a lot of this and a lot of from this it's not how I expected it at all um, but I don't know I'm gonna have to take a little bit more sip mm. Maybe that roasted malt. Right at the finish when you swallow, there's still a little bit of sweetness from the malt. Right before that little bit of bitterness from the hops uh, comes in, there's kind of a small, hmm, spicy flavor to it just a little hint of it and only for a short while before those bitter hops takes over not that there's a lot of hops but still um maybe that's that roasted malt that's actually still there maybe the malt is roasted a lot because if i remember correctly the other beers didn't say roasted malt it just said malt so hmm i will be putting this because it tastes good there's just not enough taste, enough taste, in my opinion. So I'll be putting this at a seven. So the spoiled malt or crispy malt from Valby, Boykus, Valby Brewery, I'll be putting at a seven. Yeah, uh, that's it for the video today. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. Also leave a comment down below. I will respond to all of them. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and make sure to hit that bell button so you get a notification when I make new videos. If you're on a phone, go into the settings to uh, turn on notifications from YouTube just to make sure that you get that notification when I upload new videos. 
Uh, if you want to, please check out my Instagram account. It is still got underscore. If you like what you see there, give me a follow as well. Um, yeah, that's it for the video today. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong out there. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.